Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli here. Welcome to a brand new edition of In The Shop. And I've got a good one for you today. And we're gonna be talking about spawners. We're gonna be talking about spawning fish. But we're gonna talk about a little different way to catch them. And in today's shop, we're gonna be talking about spawners on top. Spawners on top, meaning catching spawners on top water. Um, you know, traditionally, when you're talking about fish that are bedding, whether you can see them or not, right? Sometimes you're in stained and dirty water and you're catching spawners that you can't see. So whether you can see them or not is a relative, but spawning fish, fish that make a bed, that guard the bed, male, female, buzzing around, Traditionally, when we talk about spawn fishing, we're talking about baits that are fished on the bottom in their beds, right? You know what I'm talking about. Tubes, creature baits, little drop shots, like that gilly thing in a bed, right? Lures that bang around on the bottom in their bed. But there's another way, another really good way to catch spawners especially when they get funky and they get finicky. And the reality of this is I think that spawning fish get so much pressure from these traditional lures, lures that bounce in their beds, right? That's what they see a lot. I think this technique is a trigger because it's something different. The other thing about this technique, spawners on top, is that that fish in that bed, whether it's the male guarding the bed or the female buzzing around, hanging around, they're very instinctive to clear something out of the way, to get it away. And that means something on the bottom, something in the middle, or something on the top. One last thing about this technique and then we'll get into it, is that I'm a big advocate when I'm spawn fishing of fishing a lure that stays in the strike zone, right? The great thing about that little short leader drop shot ghillie, when you're shaking it on the bottom, is it stays in the bed for a really long time. It stays in the bed, but it's toward the bottom. This is a lure and a technique we can keep over their head without having to move it, right? A lot of lures like a spinner bait or a chatter bait or a buzz bait, you have to throw out there and that fish is sitting on the bed and he sees that spinner bait or that chatter bait or that buzz bait and he goes Rrrr. and you have to keep it moving. With this technique, we're gonna be able to put it around their bed, over their head, and leave it there, okay? All right, let's get to it. This is my favorite lure for spawners on top. Man, it's old school. I do some modifications to it. It caught them 30 years ago, and it still catches them. And we're talking about, ta-da! The good old floating minnow. The good old floating minnow. And you can use this exact same technique, these modifications, with any floating minnow that you want to buy. Um, for sure, this is my favorite. This is the original Rapala floating minnow. And these are the two sizes that I use when I'm, when I'm doing this, when I'm spawn fishing on top, right? Catching spawners on top. This is the size nine. It's a two hooked version. Uh, it's about four inches. This is the size 11. It's a three hooked version and it's about uh, five inches, okay? Five and a quarter inches. Love these floating minnow baits. One of the reasons I like the Rapalas uh, is because they're balsa. And balsa has a super high buoyancy and also I can modify balsa a little bit more than some of those plastic baits, okay? So uh, minnow style bait 
Real quick on color. Guys, when I'm catching spawners on top with this technique, I keep it so simple. I use the silver with the black back, and that is the S, so a 9S. I use the gold with the black back, which is the G, so that's the 11G. And I also use a color called Fire Tiger, which is green chartreuse with an orange belly, and that is FT, so the 9 or the 11 FT. Give me a gold, give me a silver, give me a chartreuse one like Fire Tiger, and that's all you need. Um, and this bait by itself, when you're twitching it over a bed, is a killer. But when we're catching spawners on top, we're gonna modify this bait and make it a better floating minnow bait for catching spawners. And let's show, let's show it to you right here. Okay, I'm gonna start with the nine, and then I could, same thing works on the 11, just has an extra hook. But there it goes, guys. There's the 9S Rapala floating minnow out of a box. Looks the same way it did 30, 40 years ago. Not, not a lot has changed. And for sure you can catch them just like that. But we're gonna make a couple modifications to make this bait a little better. The first one is I wanna add a snap or a split ring to the eye of that, to the nose of that bait. That's gonna give me a little bit of help when I'm casting, a little bit extra casting weight but it's also gonna give this bait just a little more action as we twitch it. So um, I like a number eight or a number 10, a snap or an O-ring. That's just a little number eight O-ring. You could get these things in bulk. And just gonna put that on the nose of the bait. So now instead of tying direct, we're gonna to tie to that little O-ring right there, okay? All right, modification number two, this is a big one, is I want to upsize my hook and add a feather to this bait. But here's the interesting part, you ready? I want that upsized hook and feather to be on the belly hook, not the tail. Okay, so the same thing goes for the nine, and the 11, um, the nine, if you look, has little tiny, look like number sevens or number eights on there. We can upsize that belly hook to a six or a five. And on the 11, we could even go a little bigger and we could upsize that feather on the belly and we're gonna go with the middle hook on the 11 to a four or a five, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add that feathered treble. By the way, this is just a VMC feathered treble, real good, awesome looking feathered hook. And on the nine, I'm just gonna get rid of that little tiny hook there on the belly. And I'm gonna put that feathered version right on there. Put that on, spin the old one off. There we go, okay. Now we've got the feather on the belly. And as I talk a little bit about how to fish it in a second, you're gonna see that that feather on the belly becomes the focal point for those fish. Let me show it to you on the 11 real quick, just so you know which hook I'm talking about that I want you to replace. And remember on that 11, it has three hooks. So I want that feather on the middle hook, which is the belly hook, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get that old one. We're gonna spin it off. We're gonna put that feather on right on the belly. And that's what it looks like on the 11, okay? And once again, this is gonna be a focal point for these bed and fish. All right, um, we wanna also upsize the other hooks with traditional trebles. So I'll just show you on this one, I'll just show you the, the nine. We're gonna take that little teeny 
number seven or eight hook on the back. And we're gonna upsize it to a five or a six. Same thing, I'm gonna get that bigger hook. I'm gonna spin it off. And now I've got an upsized hook on the back. It's gonna give me a little better hookup percentage, okay? All right, last modification, and then we'll get in to how to fish this over the bed or over bedding areas, is I want this bait to not sit horizontally. Remember, we're modifying this to make it better in that bed. I want this bait to sit a little tail down or butt down in the bed, just like that, right? I don't want it horizontal. I want it sort of creeping down in that position. And that's gonna do two things for us. The one is as we twitch it, when it's horizontal and you twitch it, it wants to move out of the bed a lot quicker. If it's sitting tail down with that nose up and you twitch it, here's what happens, you ready? Instead of horizontal and you twitch it and it moves like that, if it sits like this and you twitch it, all it does is go like this and tips up. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna keep that above them, above their head, in that radius of the bed a lot longer, okay? The other thing that little tail down is gonna do, it's actually gonna help appeal to that fish. When he sees it tail down, it's sort of a little more in his face, and when he comes and grabs it, that rear hook, you're gonna get a better hookup percentage because they don't have to go as high up to get it. So we're gonna catch a few more fish as well. So we wanna get that tail in a downward position, a real easy way to do it. Remember, we're already upsizing our hook a little bit, but we wanna get a little weight back there. Two systems, here's your easiest two ways. Easiest way out there, get a storm suspend strip. These things are awesome, guys, because they're so cheap. You can get them at Tackle Warehouse. I don't know, you can get like 50 for a couple bucks. I don't know exactly what they cost. <clears throat> we get a Storm suspend strip, and all it is is a little lead-weighted tape. And we're gonna stick it as far back on the body of that little Rapala as we can, okay? So there it goes on the 9S. I can add one, two, three, just keep adding them until you get that tail to sit a little down. The great thing about these balsa baits though, you don't need a lot of weight. If that was plastic, we would have to add four, five, six, seven of them to get it to sit like that. Because balsa is so light and buoyant, right? That's gonna really, really keel down easy. So one, two, three suspend strips, play with it until you get it right. The other method, this is a great method too, is to wrap that back hook in, in wire. And you can get lead wire, you could get, this is a little a steel wire, you can get it from a hobby store, you can get it from a hardware store. This stuff's real easy to cut, it's real uh, moldable. So we can just get that wire and we can start this process of wrapping it around the back hook. I'm not gonna do one right now, but you basically get, get what I'm saying. We can wrap that wire around that back hook, get your nips, trim it, make sure it's nice and tight. You could even put a little dab of glue over it when you're done to help keep it fixed. But whether you're using the wire or you're using the suspend strips, we're gonna get that bait to sit like that in the water. All right, let me get to, real quick, get to how we're gonna fish it. Uh, and basically, we wanna keep this over that fish's head as long as we can. And just like if we were fishing a bottom bait in a bed, we wanna really keep it there and aggravate them. And all we're gonna do with this minnow, we wanna fish it as a top water, but we're gonna twitch and pause, twitch and pause, twitch and pause. Here's the thing, we don't need big giant twitches. All I'm trying to do, remember that bait's sitting like that. All I'm trying to, and it's floating, right? It's sitting like that and on the surface of the water. All I'm trying to get this bait to do is keel, kick, keel, keel, kick. And every time it does that, that fish sees it, he feels it, it's got a little vibration, it's got that extra 
attracting portion, which I love on the belly, because when they get fired up and they charge it, I want them charging the entire bait. And that feather puts that whole bait in their mouth. I want to keep it there as long as possible. So we're using twitches when we're specifically fishing one bed, or even if we're fishing around bedding areas, you can make long casts with this. You don't have to worry about spooking the fish. Twitch, pause, twitch, pause, twitch, pause. The bait stays over their head. They look up there, they have to go get it. They have to kill it. It catches the males, it catches the females, and it catches spawners on top. Man, I hope you like this in the shop. Add this to your arsenal of spawning baits. Baits on the bottom work great, but top waters work great on the bed just as well. Uh, man, if you like these little tips and techniques that you're hearing, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Become a subscriber to Mike Iaconelli Fishing. If you're already, already subscribed, tell your buddies about my channel. We're gonna try to help uh, teach you a couple things that you didn't know. Hope you have a good one. Don't forget about spawners on top.